Bitcoin. Hey there, YouTube Coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a new discovery in the 1955 Lincoln Cent series. Now, if you are one of those that collect the various 1955 uh, Lincoln Cent double dies, then this video is definitely going to be for you. Now, if you have some proof sets laying around your house or you get a chance to go and cherry pick coin shops, then this video will also be really good for you. Now, this is a new discovery by Robert Lawson. This one is listed already on uh, John Wexler's website, which is doubledie.com. Once again, John Wexler's website is doubledie.com. Uh, it's a great reference website if you ever need to go look up uh, various double dies, double die verse, double die reverse, or uh, if you need to look up repunched mint marks and various things along those lines. His website is a plethora of information. I strongly recommend heading on over there and taking a look at the various varieties that he has listed and various information. A very informative website. But anyhow, this is a new discovery that was discovered by Robert Lawson. Now, prior to this, there were nine 1955 double die adverse varieties. Of course, there was the type one, which is the big one that everyone knows about and has been heavily publicized. There's the type two, which is also a very strong double die. There's the type three, the type four, type five, type six, type seven, eight, nine, etc. Some of them are on proof strikes. Some of them are business strikes. Now there is a new one. This one John Wexler has listed as 1955 double die. It is listed as WDDO-010. This is the 10th double die adverse with the 1955 Lincoln Cent series. So once again, if you are big into collecting and putting together various sets of double dies, for example, I myself enjoy putting together sets of the 1972 double dies because there are various different double dies in the 1972 series, and I enjoy seeing just the different ones. So this is another great series along with 1936. There's some great double dies. So this is another one that is just a great series to collect just a whole bunch. Of course, the type one is the one that has the most publicity and everybody knows about it. It's been in many magazines and every coin dealer and coin shop in the world seems to look for it. But now there is a 10th one. And once again, this is on a proof strike coin. So this is a proof double die adverse. This is not on a business strike. You will not typically find this in your pocket or even searching a big bag of wheat cents. Those are typically circulated business strike coins. Proof coins are made differently. They have a wire rim. The rim is really squared off. It's uh, not rounded off like one on a business strike coin. It also features more details. It typically will have a different finish. And they're just overall an aesthetically pleasing coin. But once again, this is on a proof. Now you should be looking at various images. The images of this coin that you are seeing right now is the actual Discovery Peace coin that uh, Robert Lawson has. I had him photograph it a whole bunch for me today so that we could make this video and I could show it to you. So you can kick back, relax, take your time, enjoy these images. And I will be back on in a few minutes. Now, once again, the coin that you have been looking at is a discovery piece that was discovered by Robert Lawson. Now, Robert Lawson sells a lot on eBay. He's a very heavy coin searcher, uh, very knowledgeable in the error and variety field. He is the administrator of many various uh, coin groups and forums and of course he has a big part of this channel he is one of my partners on this channel so this is a 1955 proof once again it is a proof strike this is not a business strike coin so this is a 1955 proof double die adverse it is listed in John Wexler's files and on his website as proof W D D O dash zero one zero 
Once again, this is a 1955 Double Diet Burst. This is a new discovery. So keep your eyes open. If you are out at the coin shops, make sure you check any of the proof sets that the uh, coin dealers will let you cherry pick through. If you have some proof sets around your house, make sure you get them out and take a closer look at them. Let's see if we can't find a few more of these out there. Get a couple on the open market. I have no idea what to give you for a value because none of these have come up for sale yet. So if you guys find some and you sell one, please let me know how much it sells for so I can establish a baseline on value and potentially give you a value from that point on. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it gave you something to search for, something to look for. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you would like to help our channel, you can do so by hitting the thumbs up button as well. When you hit the thumbs up button, it does encourage YouTube to share our content with more and more people. So please hit that button. Also subscribe, the more subscribers the merrier. Once we hit 30,000 subscribers, which will be relatively soon, we are going to be doing a giveaway. So hurry it on up, hit that subscribe button so we can move right on into a giveaway. Give away some nice double dies and some various products from our website. So you're going to want to look forward to that. You can always find myself or Robert Lawson on the CoinOp Facebook group page on Facebook. I will post a link down in the comments. If you would like further information to research various uh, 1955 double die varieties, a lot of my information I pulled from John Wexler's website, which is doubledie.com. I will post that down in the comments as well, along with coppercoins.com. And I will post a link to that down in the comments as well. We do have a website. It is varietyerrors.com. Once again, varietyerrors.com. Feel free to head on over and check out our website. And once again, thank you for your view.